Mogadishu's police chief announced he had suspended Somalia's parliament on Monday, only to be fired moments later by the police commissioner. It's an incident that underscores widening tensions within Somalia's security services over extending the presidency of Mohammed Abdullahi Mohammed. <laughs> Speaking live on local television, Sadak Omar Hazan said the parliamentary session had been stopped. He said he was acting unilaterally to prevent lawmakers from extending the president's term. We have a responsibility bigger than a personal one, he said, adding that he was acting to prevent war and violence in the city. Somalia's police commissioner Hazan Mohammed Hija then announced that Hazan had been fired and replaced. Hours later, Somalia's lower house voted to extend the president's term by two years in order to prepare for elections. President Mohammed has been facing growing calls to quit after his term as national leader expired. Parliament was supposed to elect a new president more than two months ago. But that process has been delayed because new lawmakers have yet to be picked. <laughs> Mohammed's opponent says he has packed the boards who choose legislators with his own supporters. Talks to set a date for elections have been intermittent and inconclusive. In a statement on Sunday, Donors, including the UN and the EU, said they would not support any new initiatives leading to an extension of prior mandates. While analysts have warned that squabbling in the security services is undermining the fight against Al-Qaeda-linked militant group Al-Shabaab.